Hello everyone, welcome to Chaudhary Data World channel. Today I am here with a new video on in this data warehouse data modeling concept. We are having a uh, concept of dimensions and fact. Into that dimensions, we are having multiple dimensions available that are slowly changing dimensions, conform dimensions, all these. Among these dimensions table, we will be watching in detail how slowly changing dimension table work and what are its feature why even we use it all these details we are going to cover up in this particular video so let's get started with the video so this slowly changing dimension you can see here that it is written as the way to capture and manage the changes to dimension attribute over time that is in simple word you can tell that if you want to have your history and the present data present into your table that is only the use of this slowly changing dimension so you can assume like this that suppose if you are having a particular table in which there was a uh, details about customer now this customer details it might be there that uh, for a particular attribute of customer that is suppose phone number now this phone number can change after some time so there are now multiple things which will come to any developer's mind that whatever phone number it was previously should it be kept right now as the historical data or should it be erased and completely and put a new phone number instead of that the old phone number all these type of cases we are handling into our slowly changing dimensions now we are having multiple types of slowly changing dimension this type is nothing but the way which you with which you are handling your historical data that means there must might be the case that you can you will be erasing your historical data and then you are you will be putting up your new data over there that might be a new slowly changing dimension type right other way it can be that you would keep that the historical data with some uh, in some other row and in a new row you might keep that record whatever the current record is so both will exist there that historical one also and the new one also but for the new one you will give a flag that it is a new flag means uh, is new as true something like that it might also be the possible case to handle your historical data so there are multiple ways with which we can handle our historical data so there are importantly and widely used three ways with which we are handling this historical data and whatever our uh, change in dimension is occurring we are handling with three most popular ways those are only type 1 type 2 and type 3 so this type 1 slowly changing dimension is nothing but it's only if you want to replace your historical data with the current one you don't need even to uh, uh, um, uh, retrieve that historical data whatever it was suppose that uh, talk about that phone number itself then if you wa don't want to uh, keep that or if you are not bothered for the previous phone number whatever the customer was then you will be going with this type 1 slowly changing dimension moving ahead to, to type 2 so in type 2 it will be maintained something like this just look at this example focus on this particular uh, picture whatever it is in front of you right now that suppose in this particular one customer key customer code martial status gender leave these attributes aside talk about this designation one so suppose this particular person whatever the customer key was his designation was suppose initially management now it is been converted to the senior management it might happen right that some particular customer uh, designation we are storing and now that customer designation we are uh, it has been changed from management to senior management so you should keep a track that what was his designation in uh, previously and now what his designation is so we will keep both of the records but in both of the different rows and again we will be having two different attributes you may say that are a start date and end date also is current so these three 
attributes what you can see here will be added into your type to slowly changing dimension which will tell you that management when uh, his resignation was management when uh, so the what about uh, what period he was as the management designation so what was the start date when he started as a management so it was the start date will be written over here and the end date when it will be ending that management and converting to the senior management that date will be mentioned into this one and of course is current will become no because he has been changed to senior management he has been promoted to senior management so is current will become yes into your senior management role and again same story will go on that start date will come as the end date of the management and whatever uh, 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 now one more uh, twist is there that what will be again than the end date it might be infinite it, it might be infinite so that because you are not knowing right that what will be the what is going to be the end date for this designation of senior management right so for that you can put us arbitrary infinite uh, tending to infinite uh, end date that might be double seven double seven something like that or double nine double nine something like that so that it should be into the date format but this date is something which is tending towards infinity hope you are getting the point what this slowly uh, type 2 slowly changing dimension is and this type 2 is only the most popular and most widely used dimension among all these three which i am going to cover up right now so take a look at it whatever the literature i have written it over here after that i am moving to type 3 i am minimizing this slide so that it can be visible all so this type 3 is nothing but if suppose you want to have this only two records uh, or the only two versions of any attribute if you want to keep then it will be very helpful let me go ahead with having one example that suppose designation it was management here what you are doing here you are in type 2 you are keeping each of the records bifurcated with the start date and end date right after senior management it might be that it can be converted to vice president or president something like that right so that particular one again it will come as a start date and end date and it will be taken care of right but in this type 3 slowly changing dimension what it will happen is it will not keep the record of the uh, uh, before that uh, last versions uh, record that means here you have taken record as the two version right you can have the possibility that you can have third version as well but here it will take the current one and the just previous one not before than that so for this particular customer that is double one zero double one it is previous designation it is not available since here into this table so it has been taken as null and for this particular guy double one zero one two it is designation right now as senior management but the previous designation was management and suppose what happens if he is getting converted to vice president or president then what it will happen Con designation will come as the vice president or president and your pre previous designation will come as the senior management that's it it will erase off whatever the last to last version was so this is whole about these three widely used slowly changing dimension types and it is nothing but the way with which you can handle your historical data that was whole about this whole video moving ahead into the videos i will be covering up another dimension table like conform junk and whatever it will be left i will be covering up into a separate video i haven't covered up in this video because it might go long that's why so this was whole about this video and thank you so much guys for watching the videos if you found this video helpful kindly like to the video subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one